Hi, everybody. Welcome back to The Front Room. I'm Kai, and I'm here with my dad today, as always. Hi. Thanks for joining us, guys. I know, uh... Oh, you said something before we started recording. I said lots of things. You I, did. You did. I don't um, remember. Well, this is going to uh, trump one of the things you said. Okay. We are going to do a song called Creep by Radiohead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny you should say that. Just before we started, Kai said, okay, Dad, are you ready to rock and roll? And I said, no, I'm ready to rap and roll. Because I said, uh, <laughs> since we never do rock on this channel, right? Yeah. And I think he went, yeah, ha, ha, or something. Uh -huh. Ready to rock and roll? I am ready to rap and roll, I think. Rap and roll, all right. It's not going to be rock, is it? Heaven <laughs> forbid that we do rock on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Radiohead. All right, okay. Yeah. Mm, this is uh... So Kai, Kai has played me snippets of Radiohead. I've never, I've never listened to an entire song. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've said to you, well, that sounds really interesting. That sounds very different. So I'm, I'm eager to hear a Radiohead song. Yeah, and it's from a, a decade of music you're not familiar with, really, yeah. right? So yeah, uh -huh. I think this is pulling a little on your. Okay. Yeah, oh. a decade of music. It's the '90s. Yes, the '90s. Yeah, yeah. My, I, I, I during the '90s, I didn't listen to any new rock music, or any new music. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think. Yeah, don't try and you know. What's that? Say it. In a in a way that gets you off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, off there might there, there there must be there must be two or three or four musicians that I learned about in the '90s who I like, but off off the top of my head, I can't think of any. <laughs> right. Certain... I can tell you they haven't stuck around then. Yeah, yeah. So this is a song called "Creep." It was recorded and released in '92, and it was on their first album called "Pablo Honey" in 1993. Pablo Honey. Yes. Okay. And. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is uh, an era of rock that, you know, I'm not even that familiar with. Maybe a little bit more than you. Um, but, yeah, I'm interested to yeah. hear what you'll think. 90s was the era of grunge. I know that. Mm -hmm. So I've heard, well, I shouldn't go on and on. I've heard a little bit of um, a band from Seattle, um, Nirvana. Nirvana. A tiny bit, right? But uh, that one big song in this. <laughs> but uh, but Radiohead is not grunge at all, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Great. Let's let's uh, sally forth and hear Radiohead. Creep. Yeah. It's their biggest song of all time. Wow. I wonder if I've even heard. I 
like that guitar. So fucking special. It's nice. I wish I was special. Whoa. But I'm a creep. I'm a winner. What the hell am I doing here? time right what the hell am I doing here I don't belong here I don't belong here oh I love the ending I was thinking it would go into that loud guitar again and it just sort of softly faded out there yeah oh that wasn't as strange as I thought it would be, because I think I've heard little bits of Radiohead mm -hmm. uh, from you emanating from your laptop or something, <laughs> and it seemed more weird than that. Yeah, this that, is when that seemed first... that seemed kind of conventional. In yes, a way. in a way, yeah. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, more conventional than yeah. the usual stuff, but mm -hmm. I think it did uh, have its own unique sound within within that sort of. Uh -huh. style yeah um it, it combines a lot of a lot of different genres and so it's sort of like grunge but also there's this term called like slacker rock oh i haven't well. heard that yeah i mentioned i said uh, i'd heard um nirvana a little bit but i didn't think radiohead was anything like that but when those guitars got going i thought oops yeah <laughs> like isn't that what grunge has a yes, lot of Layering of these kind of um, slightly dirty sounding guitars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sort yeah. of like a wall of sound. Yeah. So um, I didn't. I didn't say. I want to say anything. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, the um, you know a lot of rock songs will ha start off with a uh, like an, some acoustic guitar and a singer who's singing in a mellow way and you know that uh, when the when the chorus comes it's going to pick up and the guitars are going to come in or the saxes or whatever it is right <laughs> yeah um so i i kind of figured something was coming before i heard the guitars uh but it was so good and well uh, had that dun -dun, yeah dun -dun. Yeah, that was fan, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. You're like, oh, shit, what's going on? <laughs> and then when it the chorus came again the second time, I was I was hoping that that guitar would be there, and it was. Yeah, yeah. So was so really actually, uh, Johnny Greenwood, who's the lead guitarist for the band, I think when they were recording that, and you know, at this point they weren't it was before their first album. Um, they they didn't i before, forget the exact before their first album yeah well, it's a single oh, okay. right so it got released in 92 and the first album was 93 and they they did this in one take and there was there's a lot of frustration in the studio that day oh yeah so johnny greenwood just sort of like hit his guitar not rehearsed that way oh you're kidding and me just, he just went like darn it, darn it. <laughs> and the guys went do that again yeah Sort of thing. Yeah, I believe so. Wow. Which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that was really good. And then those guitars were really fantastic. You know, um, there's a lot of guitar. I don't know how many. I don't know. Were there three guitars going at once there? Sort of weaving in and out. But it was loud, but it didn't sound noisy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't harsh. It was a wall of sound, 
but it was not noisy to me. Mm. Yeah. That's so, well, that's like definitely that. I feel like something that you would like possibly. Yeah. 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 Great. I like his vocal vocals. Yeah, Tom York is an amazing amazing singer. He has so much uh, versatility that he can bring out on songs with uh -huh. him being so uh, mellow and soft and um sort of fragile mm -hmm. there was a bit of a falsetto there at one point right yeah false yeah he, his uh, falsetto is great as well recognizably him oh and then also when he explodes and this, he has he sometimes explodes more than this song because mm -hmm. you know in the chorus he did get more intense mm -hmm. but it was mostly focusing on uh, that backdrop of guitars right right that that sort of signaled that yeah so he, he's great in that aspect too and uh this particular song creep it got so big right and it's their biggest song to this day. Really? Their very first single. And, and uh, I don't know if it was their first single, but it was one of their first oh, singles okay. before their album. And they got so famous just from that one song because their other singles didn't perform that well that they would do festivals and concerts and people would go and just know that one song. And they their whole identity, not that they chose it to be, but mm -hmm. it was based on that song. Mm -hmm. And they just hated it so much. I was much. about to say that must have been frustrating. Yes. So they uh, completely reinvented their sound, or at least not completely, but progressed their sound in their next album. So I'm sort of excited to show you stuff from that. Nice. And uh, yeah, I think that's when things take a take a turn. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And they're actually, I think, considering not continuing or something like that. I'm not sure if that's in chat literally because of the song getting so big. Yeah. And them not wanting to be characterized by it. Mm -hmm. And after mm -hmm. around 2001, they hardly performed the song. Only like three or four times. Oh, okay. So, but they didn't have that much material. Uh, Up until 2001? Yeah. yeah. Well, they released this, this in 92. Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Oh, they would have had heaps of material. And maybe by then they would have been so well established that people wouldn't mind it so much. Oh, yeah. Not if they all. didn't do this yes, song. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I remember um, a bit of a tangent here, but there's a, a British blues uh, musician named John Mayall, and he had, uh, who, who you know of anyway, mm -hmm. um, who I like, and he, uh, he had this really popular song, and uh, on his next album that he put out, which was a live album, people are shouting at the beginning of the album, play, play you know. Mm -hmm. The song was Room to Move. Play Room to Move. Play Room to Move. And he said uh, something along the lines of, did you come here to hear an old album? No Room to Move. So, you know, he, he refused to play that at that point in his career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but obviously there is pressure. You want to uh, satisfy your, your fans, right? That's, yeah, I guess so. That's what it's partly about. And But for them... It was more so they didn't have fans, true fans, yeah, I suppose, yeah, because yeah. they just knew oh, that yeah, one right, song. Right, right. So they yeah. they weren't really pleasing anybody. Yeah. Um, and about the lyrics, what, what do you think? Yeah, the lyrics were were good. I like them. Um, I like the theme of this woman who he she she is an absolute goddess to him. Mm -hmm. She's perfect in every way. Yeah. And he's enamored by her. He wants to be with her. I'm not sure if they're together or not. At one point, I, I, I don't, I don't think so. Because okay. <laughs> he's uh, a creep, right? Yeah, and he, but he says, you know, I can, next to you, I'm just a piece of piece of crap, right? Yeah, I don't look good. I, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I'm a misfit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I think a lot of people, heck, I can relate to that. Who can't? <laughs> you know that goddess at high school, who she'd walk down the hall and your heart would start racing, and you'd say, I got to get to know her. But come on. I told myself, come on, really? Me? Forget about it. So kind of that situation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's based on a true story mm. from Tom York's perspective about some girl that was walking through a, some sort of market. She walked through a market like every weekend or something. Oh, yeah. Um, in Oxford. Yeah. And uh, so it was about that. But yeah. and, and Johnny Greenwood said the song is basically, despite... It being directly about that, it's a song about accepting who you are as well. Yes. Because you're recognizing, like, I'm a creep. Yeah. Were there any lines in the song where he actually uh, talks about that, accepting who you are? Well, sure. he just, um, he, he during the verses, he, he talks largely about the girl and how infatuated he is. Yeah. 
And then the chorus breaks out and he says, I'm a creep, you mm-hmm. know. So mm-hmm. he, he's saying, I am something. Mm-hmm. So that's basically admitting to that point yeah. without um, spelling it out any further. Yeah. Sure, a lot of people out there can relate. I think. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why it's such a big song. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. I liked it a lot. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I think I just wanted to get this sort of, I, I, I like the song a lot, but a lot of the other stuff far more. So uh-huh. I sort of wanted to get this out of the way because it's just sort of the earlier stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now I can, it opens up the world yeah. of Radiohead. Well, I'm glad you played early Radiohead because I like to hear, um, you know, musicians in in sequence from when they started and see how their music progresses uh-huh. over the years, right? Yeah. Totally. That's really interesting to do. Yeah. It's yeah. not, and it's also just sort of enhances your listening experience as well. It does. Because you can pick up the differences oh, um, yeah, for yeah. the purpose of of them having a new idea yeah. or identity. So you mentioned you saw this girl in Oxford. Yeah. So, yeah, I was. you answered my question, which was going to be, are they British or American? Yeah. So they're British. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks a lot. See you soon. See ya.